Good morning, Tiz. How are you? <clears throat> How are you today? Hope you're well. I forgot that you got a gifted sub. You're excited for the new game? So am I. To the point where, guess what my mug is? Do you want me to show you my mug? Because it is a very special mug. Picked out specifically for today. Ali, can you show me your mug? It's my AI song name is Mug. There you go. So, uh, yeah, I did not expect to take nearly an entire week off of stream. Um, that was not planned at all. I don't remember why I canceled Tuesday. I think I was just not, not feeling it. But Thursday... Um, I was all geared up, ready to play the last bit of Never Alone, and also some uh, Heaven's Vault if we had extra time. And so at around 4 o'clock, I ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And about 30 minutes to an hour later, like not very long afterwards... I started getting pain right underneath my ribs and it felt like pressure pushing outwards and it was weird I thought it was heartburn because that's kind of what my heartburn has felt like before so I was like okay well I'll take some Tums and drink some water and uh, maybe if I like shift positions Maybe that'll help. Well, none of that helped. So, I had my husband try and, like, rub on my back and do a cup, like, rub my shoulders and, like, rub the pain areas in my back. And that didn't help either. And uh, so I started, like, I got to the point where I couldn't sit still because it was so painful. And so I started trying to, you know, get up and walk it off. That made it even worse to the point where I was like braced up against a, um, like one of the walls trying to like stretch, thinking it was like a pressure release that needed to be done. That was even worse. It was getting to the point where it felt like I had a giant hand on either side of my body pressing inwards relentlessly so like say this is my front this is my back it felt like kind of like this and so it was getting to the point where I could not for the life of me take a deep breath and then it started progressing to the point where I felt like I could not hardly even breathe and that was terrifying to me because I was like well maybe maybe I can try doing some Lamaze breathing which is what they teach in uh, birthing classes on how to manage pain when you're in labor and I was like well I don't think this is labor because this is this is not going away this is constant it's not like an ebb and flow thing so, I, I could not even regulate my breathing to the point where I could even get into the Lama's breathing. It was just, I was taking like short, like choked breaths, like, <laughs> like that. And I, I don't know if I started, I'm really not sure if I started hyperventilating, but 
I could not take a deep breath or any kind of breath without moaning and not like it, it was very pained sounds that I was making my husband was starting to get really worried about me and um, then I felt like I was gonna faint and so I went and lay down on the ground like I've kind of been trained by my body to do at this point and uh Paul thank you for 14 months of subscription thank you so much but um where was I uh so I, I felt like I was gonna faint and I lay down on the ground I've fainted so many times in my life that I know the signs of you're about to faint if you don't get on the ground soon you're gonna fall down and so I laid down on the ground my husband looked at my lips and he said that my lips were white and uh, like I couldn't stay on the ground because that hurt even worse and uh, I don't know what this music is doing so we're going to the next song but uh, so got up and my husband's like do you need an ambulance or do you, do you need to go to the hospital and I'm going I, I couldn't I couldn't respond at this point hardly I couldn't talk and like when I had progressed to just like walking around what I did was um oh cat's over there playing with string what I did was I handed my phone to him and he's the one who sent out the uh, tweet saying that we weren't going to have stream because I could not I could not think clearly enough to do it myself and uh, so at that point that's when we were like okay we're going to the hospital we get to the hospital end up sitting there for two hours and like at that point the pressure has gone away and um, Prime Strike thank you for the sub <laughs> for four months thank you so much hi I'm just telling what was going on with uh, Thursday but okay so we get to the hospital we're in the ER for two hours and like at this point like I almost had to have my husband carry me from the uh, uh, from the car to the ER but I didn't end up doing that I like just hobbled my way in and he just supported me and when they finally called me I had to have him like I, I had my arm around him in order to be able to walk um, so they took some blood they took a urine sample and then finally I get into a room and they lay me down I get to wear the ever lovely hospital gown dress and um, they do a couple different ultrasounds baby's doing fine um, and like they made sure everything uh, Are we back? Well, that fixed it, apparently. Sweet. Okay. Um, sorry, what was I talking about? Uh, yes. So, um, they, they ran some tests on me. I got, I got into the room and they made sure that baby was okay um, she kept trying to kick the monitor the the like ultrasound wand off of my belly and uh, they checked my kidneys and my gallbladder and there was like some fluid black uh, backup in my kidneys and uh, there was some kind of like sludge in my gallbladder which is like down 
I, I don't remember the location of my gallbladder. It's like somewhere in like the lower right quadrant, which is where the pain was. Um, but they ended up getting in contact with my OBGYN team. And so they said, well, we, we're still not exactly sure what's going on because her pain has gone down because it had. By the time I actually got to the ER room where they had me like in the ER and were checking on me, evaluating me and everything, my pain had gone from a seven to about a three. And because like at this point I could talk again. I could um, semi-move again, um, but there was a lot of pain still from like the back of my right shoulder blade down to about my hip. It was really sore, could not twist my body in any sh sh shape or form, so I, I was just like, I'm not out of pain yet, but this is what I'm feeling. They gave me a couple of Tylenol, see if that would help, and um, did a couple more ultrasounds. They're like, well, the OB team said that uh, they want you to go and be checked out by them, and so they sent me to the, they transferred me across hospitals to um, the UC main campus which is uh, where they have like a specific emergency room for um, pregnancy stuff. So like an OB emergency room. And um, so by the time we get there, it's 10 o'clock at night. And this has been going on since five. And um, so we get there, we get checked in, go through the whole rigmarole again. And at this point, my pain is a one or even a zero. Like I can talk, I can walk, I can get around relatively just fine. I'm just sore and tired. And I usually go to sleep at 10. I am exhausted. I have been poked, I've been prodded. I have been in pain for multiple hours. And so I get there and they run a couple different checks. And what I guess they ended up coming to uh, figure out is what they thought happened was when I ate the sandwich, it either expanded my stomach to the point where like the, the uterus is getting so big at this point because baby is getting bigger that it's starting to shunt my organs out of the way to make space for the baby, which that is normal. But what happened is it shunted it in a way that the stomach pressed against the gallbladder and the gallbladder is what breaks down your foods into a sludge so it can be somehow entered into the bloodstream. I don't remember anatomy that well, but basically it it pressed out some bile that was not ready to be uh, sent out yet. And so it was just like suddenly it was high pressured into an area where it wasn't, well, it was supposed to be, but it wasn't supposed to be there yet. And then it got into my liver and my liver filtered it out as it's supposed to. Because when they did my... Um, blood draws. They tested my liver count and my liver count numbers were elevated. So that led them to believe that it was just something that was pressed out too early and that's what caused the pain. Because usually you're not supposed to be having bile in your liver. So that that is what they think it was. Um, they're still not completely sure. But, um, anyways, I'm fine now. Um, they, they still want to poke and prod me even more, um, but I'm not going out today because, uh, I, I know they wanted to redo some, like, liver tests 
on me for like at some point today, but they didn't tell me where to go. They didn't tell me what time to be there. And it, it was just all so vague that I'm just like, I'm not moving until I get more detailed information. So that's why I'm here. But uh, yeah, anyways, it is time. It, w it is way past time. I'm 12 minutes past time. Uh, it is time for us to be into a video game, and it is a brand new video game that you guys sponsored for me. Um, it is called AI The Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. We played the first game when... It, I think we started it, like, last July, and it went... or no... Might have been January, and we finished it in July. It took us like something like six months. It, it was a long time that it took us to get through this game, but it was well worth it, and um, it was really fun. And now we're going to continue that story. But uh, let's give me a second, and I will get us on over. Just wanted that confirmation. Let's try this again. <laughs> One hour later. <laughs> Launch. Hey, here we go. Just double check that options are all good. Cursor speed is good. Vertical, horizontal, that's all good. Good, good, good. How's the volume? Do you need it to be turned down any? Or... Like, it feels a little loud on my end, but... Maybe turn it down to that. I, the Somnium Files, Nirvana Initiative. Looks good for everything. Was that pewter? It sounded like pewter. Okay, let's see. I feel like it's still a little too high, so I'm gonna turn it down to five across the board. I, the Somnium Files, Nirvana Initiative. <gasps> Is that Mizuki? Okay, so I've got background music to four, um, sound effects to five, and voice to. I, the Somnium Files, Nirvana Initiative. Iris, <laughs> my friends, my wonderful friends. All right, um, yeah, English investigation. Blah 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 blah. Um, standard. Do we want to be on story for this? Because story gives us more time to explore. It uh, gives us unlimited re uh, retries. Um, with standard, you only get retries three times. Go into story. Okay. Looks all good to me. All right, new game. Let's do this. They were a pain. Play in English. Yes. I thought I just did that. Story. Yes. Yes, thank God. Oh my God. Game features autosave. If 
Finally, this wor- story is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to actual people, organization, product names is not intended. 210, A Strange Tale, Converge, Chapter 0. I will say, I didn't see any toggle for, um, like, spoiler-free versus non-spoiler. Where am I? Ryuki. You okay, Ryuki? Just turning my music up a little bit. All right, let's keep going. Next question. In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half-god, half-beast spirits that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? I have no idea. But I like to view the tutorial. Yes. All right, inspecting people and objects will progress the story. You can freely move the cursor and the camera. Look around and set the cursor on objects that interest me. Everything interests me. Okay. Where am I? What? You're joking, right? What are you talking about? Just press the button already. You see that button on the table, right? Push it, and you get to answer the question. What was the In question Indian again? mythology, what that imbibes sense? If you know the answer, spit it out. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's a monitor. <laughs> you feel it all right you? there, Mr. Ryuki? Why do you look like that? Look like... what? Can I hear the question? No, I don't want to hear the question again. Big monitor. Okay. Another monitor. I guess there's not really much else to look at. Weird. Color codes if I've checked everything. Mm. Nazi answer button for the quiz. Tama. <gasps> Is this a new Iba? Why don't you press it? Who are you? You mean this button? Yeah. You better hurry, or the other teams are gonna answer before you. Uh, Tama? Who are you? Bonk. There we go! Team Popo was the quickest. Team Popo. And your answer is? Uh... <laughs> Date. Centaur, uh, Seder, Gandharva. Date? Huh? What? The answer is Gandharva. Okay, let's keep going then, shall we? Next question. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings? Yes, I am. Uh-huh. No, no, not you, Mr. Ryuki. Oh, this is where it's going to set it. This question is for the person on the other side. <laughs> oh, jeez. Who, who was that? Why ask about that? This is the Faith to Face special, a six hour quiz show live stream marathon. Have you. Forgotten? Um. 
Hurry now, your answer, please. What a strange quiz. Think so? Seems like a normal quiz to me. I thought I heard a voice just yes. now. Yes. New Cyclops? The questions voice? in this quiz aren't aimed at you, Ryuki. They're for you. On the other side. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> this is really cool. Alright. Oh, and Team Popo presses the button. You must be ready to answer. Ah, but before you do, I want you to take this question very seriously. The new Cyclops serial killings. The incident in which many victims got their eye gouged out and murdered. Are you or are you not familiar with it? I am indeed. They say you're going to learn if we can dig into the details of that incident in the coming six days. Ooh. In other words, we're asking if we can give you spoilers for the first game. But don't worry. Even if you don't know anything about it, it won't affect how you progress through this game. Also, if there's anyone here who did not watch my playthrough of that, you can go to my YouTube channel and watch me play through that there. I have a full playlist. Besides, serial killers and what they're about to experience, they have nothing to do with each other. Promise. Basically, you just get to know the characters a bit better. So please, just tell me honestly. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killing? I am. Are you sure? Don't be lying now. Let's give you a simple test just to make sure. Uh-oh. The one who resolved the new Cyclops serial killings was Kaname Date of Abyss. On the final day of that investigation, someone was shot in the leg by the culprit. Who was that someone? Oh, jeez. No need to give me their last name. Someone First was name shot only. in the leg. Uh Yes, please. <laughs> Cuz I don't remember. It's been a couple of months. Um Was it Shizue? Yeah, but specifically in the leg. Wait, was Mizuki shot too? Who was shot in the leg? Boss was not in the scene. So it might have been MoMA? Oh, so close! MoMA did get shot, but he was shot in the stomach, not the leg. Okay. Oh, but I feel. Think about it now, okay? The name of the person who was shot in the leg by the culprit. Uh, who was shot in the leg? Hey, okay. I saw the boss. There we go. Oh, not bad. You're correct! But you could have just gotten lucky. How oh, about go for one more round? <laughs> Who is the true culprit of the new Cyclops serial killings? Answer with just the first name. Saito Kojima. Let's have it. Wonderful! That's another right answer! Sorry for doubting you. You really do know about the new Cyclops killings. Yeah, well, you gave me a really hard question to start with. <laughs> oh, did you hear that sound? Yeah. That means the next question will be the last. Okay. Are you ready? Sure. A precognitive dream 
is a dream that lets you see the future. But these precognitive dreams, are they real? Truly. Real. That's creepy. <laughs> precognitive dreams, huh? I know that Dante thought that there was a uh, that he was having precognitive dreams, but it turned out not to be true in the last game. Uh, what? Uh, it can't be. They're cracking like eggs. What's wrong? Are you okay? Are you okay? What's wrong with your voice? And there she goes. have that reaction too. Oh hi Mizuki. You're looking cute. Looks like a snack. I love her outfit, it's so cute! Uh, hello? Be careful, Mizuki. I've detected a biological response. Three o'clock. Distance of 315 feet. In the middle row of seats. Uh, what? Hello? Excuse me, sir, your face mask is on upside down. Yeah, we blocked a bat with a crowbar. Hey, look, an evolver. Okay, audience seat, audience seat. Iba, zoom in, night vision mode. Roger that. Right there. Or? Use the X ray next. Understood. Oh, th yeah, there they are. Found you. Who is that? Identity unknown. Judging from their figure, they appear to be female. Oh. Ah, so she's jealous, huh? I bet that's it. Why else would another girl target me? What? You can't think of any other reason? Well, sure, but. I'm really cute, you know? And humble, too. That's why other girls don't like me much. I am fairly certain that has more to do <laughs> with your personality. I love how Aiba has expressions now. Mizuki, load Evolver with a stun grenade round. You should be able to knock your opponent unconscious by detonating it near them. Got it. Got new kinds of ammo. And a new style of evolver. That is so cool. Okay, it's ah! ready. I will display the aiming reticle. Take aim and pull the trigger. On it. What's with this girl? she go now? Did you kill her? Detecting the target's footsteps. They seem to be heading toward the stadium exit. Ugh. Can't let them get away. Mizuki, wait. Even you won't be able to catch up to them. More importantly... There is a body. There's... something there. Yes. That's 
You recognize him? Yeah. I'm sure of it. I'll never forget. It's... Is that Pewter? The... Oops. His name is Jin Furue. I remember it clearly. Six years ago, at Studio Devita. The... Right half of his body. Uh, six years ago. Ryuki, what's wrong? Pull yourself together. Everything's fine. Wait, that's... Boss. Where am I? Don't tell me you were sleeping. Who falls asleep in the middle of a live stream? <laughs> <laughs> what is it with your face, dude? Moma and company. Mr. Yuki, you're working under Boss, right? Boss, have you been giving him vacation time? Why is Ryuki young again? She's probably working him to the bone on his off hours, too. I resent that. That is not true. I just have him scrape the straight and corneum off my heels every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryuki. Are you sure? Oh, um, yeah. All right. Now that Mr. Ryuki is away. What is with your face shape, it, sir? Here we go, next question. Which Taoist symbol shaped like interlocking black and white commas Yin and Yang sound symbol. represents the origin of all things? Yeah, it's Shovel Forge. What the? A blackout? What are you standing around for? Get the lights! Yeah, I'm on it! What the heck? Fray to free? Yeah, yeah uh, that is uh, half of a dude. Where's Date in all this? Back to the present. Boss. Why are you here? You do know I'm the commander of Abyss, right? Right, but that's why I'm asking. Isn't it a bit weird for you to be at a crime scene in person? This case is special. I saw it too, six years ago. The other half of the corpse. That's Studio Devita. And the HB case is still open, even after all this time. Six years ago? What is it with six years?! By HB case, she is referring to the half-body serial killings. So named because the victim's bodies were cut in two. The culprit is known as Terror. Uh. Their identity is unknown. Six years have passed since Terror first made themselves known, but we have yet to find any promising leads. I already know that. You don't have to explain it. Please do explain it. During investigations, Aiba and Tama talk. Uh, trivia and additional information will be s displayed at the top of the screen. Terror means has two means. Uh, tears when you cry, terror to rip things. Yeah, okay. That, whatever. Um. About Dante. Why? What is it? Well... I was just wondering if he contacted you or anything. I would have let you know right away if he did. Is he missing? Date was caught in that explosion six years ago. Wait, what? And has been missing ever since. What? Date's body was never recovered from the scene. Don't worry. 
I am positive it would take more than that to kill Kaname Date. I am certain he's at the Hot Springs District in Atami or someplace, spending with his that time secretary. in leisure. If he is, I'd go down there and drown him in that boiling water myself. <laughs> of course not. What? Why not? Because you're only 18, Mizuki. You're still a student at Sakiba High. But I barely even go now. But she was 11 at the time of the last game. I graduate in a month. I hardly have any classes left. The point is, you're still a student. Then why did you let me join Abyss? Because I thought you had potential as a singer. I assume your gargantuan strength and combat ability were a factor as well. Yeah, superhuman strength. But you're basically still an intern. You've only been training for about a month. It's way too early to put you in the field. Um... Spectre? <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this, but... <laughs> You really want to know my name? Yes, I really do. Yeah. Then I'll tell you, but please don't forget it, okay? <laughs> Got it. My name is Kagami. Hmm. Kagami, huh? Okay, I'll remember that. Mm-hmm. Here it comes. <laughs> I knew this would happen. <sighs> I'll say it one more time. My name is Kagami. Told you it's Kagami. Oh, well, his uh, previous VA passed. I didn't know that. Of course, ma'am. It's Jin Furaway. I don't think there's anyone in our generation who wouldn't recognize him. IT company CEO. He was famous until he passed away. Well, even after he died. And six years ago, I was part of that investigation too. Were you at the studio by any chance? You don't remember? We did talk for a bit. Um, sorry, don't remember. You don't leave much of an impression. In a good way. In a good way? <laughs> Oof. Abyss is a high-level organization in the police department. You do technically outrank me, ma'am. Huh. Really? Hmm. But you don't need to worry about the formalities with me. What? For real? I can be casual with you. Do you want to get your ass kicked? Sorry. Uh, sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I've finished gathering DNA samples. It's being sent to forensics now. I'm sure the results will be out shortly. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um... that work? Okay. Detective. What? You really don't know? Oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Fro is your name now. I'm Detective Ushidera, Special Investigations Office, MPD. Detective Sundera. Got it. I don't even have to ask about you. You're Mizuki Okira, 18 years old. Hi, kitty. A high schooler attending Sakiba High. The all-girls school, right? Oh, my. Ah, but Okira is your former name. You've been adopted by Date, if I remember correctly. What's with the weird, creepy smile? You were at the studio when the other half of the corpse was I found. I like this guy. So I take it you were there, too? Yeah. Back then I was on the investigation team. Though you were 12 at the time, so I can't blame you for not remembering me. I heard you became a special agent at Abyss. That boss lady got her claws in you, huh? I want to punch him. This little girl gets hired as an investigator. I really want to punch him. <sighs> Guess they'll take anyone they okay, can Okay, that's get. it. He's dead. Abyss is a particularly special organization. Mizuki was hired via what might be referred to as extra legal measures. Press E to end Detective Tsundere. I should be asking you. 
You're the one who discovered the body, right? You were also at the studio six years ago when the other half was found. Quite a coincidence, don't you think? What are you trying to say? Why did you come here? I got a Nile message. It said, HB Stadium. That could only be referring to the case six years ago, right? The half-body serial killings. I need to know more about that case. Changed my life. Forever. So that's why I came. Haven't found anything yet. Though there is something I didn't find that's particularly interesting. You didn't notice? Look at the field. You'll see what I mean. There's something in the field? It's snowing, but it hasn't piled up yet. Yeah. By the way, Mizuki, there is something that has been bothering me. What's this? This is the field before law enforcement arrived. Notice anything peculiar? No, nothing in particular. The turf runs a considerable distance and is wet from the snow. If someone were to step on it, they would leave a trace. However, there aren't any footprints. Indeed. So it was dropped? Then how did the body... Maybe a helicopter flew over top and dropped the body. Unknown. Perhaps they descended from the sky, or rose up from the ground. They teleported here. Teleported? Silly, Iba. I was joking. Do not take it seriously. <laughs> oh, uh... Thank you! Who sent the message? <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know. It was sent from an account that signed up with a fake name. Someone must have wanted me to discover the body. Someone? Maybe the culprit. Why would the culprit do that to you? I... don't know. There is one more thing we don't know. The masked woman who shot at us earlier. Who could this person of interest be? And why did she try to kill you? And why is her mask upside down? Look at that. Let's look at the bo body. Would you like to check the corpse with x-ray mode? Yeah. It's unlikely, but maybe the right half of the body is buried in the ground. You could simply flip the body over. No way. I don't want to see that cut. Especially not down there. <laughs> hmm. In that case, how's this? Thanks. I see now. That body is definitely just the left half. That's... Def yeah. The same face we saw six years ago at Studio Divita. Jin was a young industrialist. He was quite famous and often made media appearances. This cannot possibly be a stranger who happens to look like him. Oh, no. I just started investigating, really. Nah, the lining has heating wires in it, so I'm warm. Nice. Oh, thank you for the concern, though. Weird, though, isn't it? He got killed six years ago, but the body shows up now? Yeah, it's pretty weird. There isn't any trace of a disturbance on the field, so how did the body get here? Okay. Yeah, and there's no decay. Okay, so I guess it's time... Can I do it one last time? No. Okay. Alright, let's in let's say let's definitely be on this case. Uh, yeah, I thought you'd say that. 
Please, boss. I have to. This case is... Can you not give me the puppy dog eyes? No, it's impossible. They're stuck like that. You know I'm weak to the puppy dog eyes. That's why we do it. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> but promise me one thing. Swear to me that you won't do anything dangerous or illegal, no matter what. Yeah, I swear, I swear! And one more thing. I am your superior. You should address me with a little more respect. 10-4, boss man. I read you loud and clear. Let's do all the illegal things. You. She's my direct superior now. <laughs> okay. Um evidence marker? Have I missed anything? I think that's it. Let's get dangerous, dangerous. Corpse body x ray. I will get the more shocking okay, facts out of the way first. The estimated time of death is approximately nine hours ago. What? Nine hours ago? That's wow. It is currently nine o'clock. So that would mean he was killed around How the 12. heck? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Yeah, how how was he still alive? Six years ago, I... Hold that thought. There's more. Uh, what? <laughs> As you can see, the body was cut in two. There are no other external wounds on the body. It appears that he was sliced in half while he was still alive. As for what was used to cut him, I am sorry, but that cannot be determined. No serrated edges or anything? What do you mean? Judging by the cross section, it is clear that it was not a blade. It could not be a laser or pressurized water either. Then what was it? As I said, I do not know. What if he was cut by a dimension? Like he crossed a dimensional line and got cut in half. And so the first half was dropped six years ago, and the second half was dropped now. So that's why it's saying that he was only killed nine hours ago. That's my theory so far. The body was cut at the molecular level. There is hardly any blood left in the body. It could be speculated that the corpse was left with the cut section facing the ground. However, there are no traces of any blood flow on the ground. Therefore, it is clear that he was murdered at some other location. Exactly, Tiz. Like he portaled, but he was splinched. Six years ago, Jin Furaway's body was discovered in Studio Devita. And now... His left half was found here at the stadium. And yet his time of death is 12 o'clock today. Which means that half his body was alive very recently. What the hell is going on? My brain is doing cartwheels trying to figure this out. Some pseudoscience bullshit. Hold on, did Iba just appear? Yeah. Wait, let me put my earphones in. Hi, Iba. Can you hear me, boss? Yeah, loud and clear. Uh, what if the body was frozen? Like, uh, uh, Iris's mom. There are no signs of him ever having been frozen. 
that half body was definitely alive until just recently. Okay, that takes out that theory. Um, just stand in there. What if the right and left half belong to different people? I, of course, did consider it a possibility, but both faces match perfectly. The rest depends on the DNA results. I looked into Jin Furoi's family background. Not only did he not have a twin, but there is no record of him ever having siblings. A hidden twin, maybe. What? I mean, the heart is in the left half of the body. I get it. You think they might have sewn the body back together. No, there are no traces of that. And... Were you two being serious? You do realize the cerebrum, brainstem, and spinal cord were completely severed in two? When you eradicate the... Uh, the plaus possible, the impossible must be plausible. I know I totally butchered that, but you know what I mean. I have no idea what's going on, but this case is definitely connected to the incident six years ago. Which means the half-body case isn't over yet. Six years ago, I was 12. Obviously, I wasn't in Abyss yet. I wasn't part of the investigation at all. I didn't know much about the case. I did see some of the investigation documents during my training. But the information there wasn't much better than the information on the internet, so I couldn't get the full picture. Hey, Aiba. How much do you know about the HB serial killings? As you know, my knowledge of the case is about the same as yours. Due to the explosion six years ago, I lost all of my memories from a few days before that point. And due to poor connection, I was unable to send or retrieve any backups. What about you, boss? Same for me. Ryuki was the one on the case at the time. I don't know anything other than what he reported. What about the stuff he didn't report? I'm not a psychic. How would I know something that he didn't tell me? Aiba, where is Ryuki now? I've determined the location from Toma's GPS. Currently, Ryuki seems to be in Golden Yokocho. Alright, once I move to a different area, map will be displayed at the bottom. Use map. Okay. Golden Yokocho. Let's go. And this is six years ago, I'm assuming. Yeah. I love the fact that they kind of kept the music. Whose perspective am I from? Ryuki's right now, I wonder? Hmm. Well... Who's in charge of the case? There's no one else available, so... Would you mind taking care of it? What? Me? Yes, I'm Ryuki. I know this case could get dangerous. It might be too hot to assign to a rookie. But then again, you have a reliable partner with you. Mm-hmm. I'll give you hands-on assistance for this investigation. Thomas thirsty. Hey, what's going on with you? Memory problems? Brain disorder or something? You look like you're losing it a little. I might have to reinstate the uh, horny jail redeem for this. No, it's nothing. Boss was invited here by Ma, a host from Kabuki Show. Ma told her, let's go on this online show together. It looks so fun. But immediately after she showed up, she was sent a Nile message that read, Sorry, something came up. So in other words, he flaked on her. Hmm. Boss tried to go home, but the show's staff stopped her and begged her to find her replacement. So she called up her obedient Ali, underling, huh? can you show me your How convenient. Oh, and there was an introduce. Hi, Shay. I am a variety streamer. My name is Allie, and that's all you're getting out of me from right now. Love you.
Yeah, you remember now? Remember? You never told me anything about this Ma guy. Ah, so Tama told you. After I asked her not to. It's Jin Furaway, no doubt about it. He was like an advisor who represented the young talent. I saw him a lot on the news online. It is Shay. This is so strange. Why just his right half? Yeah, for real. And what's with the sign? Frey to free? Frey can mean battle, tatter, ravel, or strain. Free is self-explanatory. To set free or release. So the phrase could mean something like fight to set free. Hmm. What about the QR code? What's with that QR code? The thing is, there seems to be an error in the Abyss communication system. We're having issues getting online. What? Come on. What? You got a problem with that? No, not at all. Sassy. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. It's just that I had a bad experience. Wait, is the YouTube URL? Really? I try not to tell people my name. Drop it in the chat. I wanna see. Then I'll tell you instead. His name is Kagami. Kagami? Huh. Huh? How did you know? Why? Why does this keep happening? Is my name cursed or something? <laughs> All I can do is laugh now. Is it? Is it safe to stream? Because I'm gonna pull it up. Yeah. Let me know if it's safe to stream it. It's just trippy? Okay. Yep, 
I, I, I would call that very trippy. Okay. Fight for freedom, huh? Contestant seat. Three spots for contestants. Oh yeah, Sundere is here. Ha. I already know all about you. And he hasn't no changed a bit. Kurta Ryuki, 23 years old. Due to your excellent marks, you skipped a few grades at an elite private university and graduated at 21. Afterward, you went through training at Police Academy for 15 months and were accepted into Abyss last summer. It's incredibly rare for anyone to get into Abyss without having stepped foot on a crime scene. Don't tell me you slept your way in with Boz. Wow, he's a dick to both sides. Uh, of course I didn't. I took the formal exam and Boss acknowledged my abilities. You mean your endurance? You're a young guy. Yeah, Boss definitely seems more into the marathons than the sprints. I what want to peel my about? skin off. Well, Ryuki, when a man and a woman love each other Tama, very shut much... It. You don't have to explain it! I get it! I'm definitely instituting a horny jail for next stream. <laughs> We work in the same building and you don't know my name. Can't blame you though. You're new. Metro PD Major Crimes. Name's Ushidera. Soon dead, I got it. <sighs> Unfortunately, nothing yet. HQ still hasn't gotten any reports about the half body being found. Hell. Maybe it's never going to be found. What if that body crossed over time and space to get here. It's possible, right? No? So he's kind of got the same idea as me. Is it true that body appeared out of nowhere? It's hard to believe. Well, but... the lights went out, right? The lights went out, and when the lights came back, that was there with the sign. Please! Don't! Rush me. I'm doing the best I can. Yeah, Iris is definitely gonna bang that. Looks like he's just staring very at hard. me. Yeah. It's all right now, because I am here! Half Might! <laughs> uh, All Might reference. Half for all! We are full time heroes! Are you okay, Mr. Ryuki? I feel like you aren't exactly a sound of mind right now. Alright. Ryuki can sometimes, oftentimes, get weird like this. He isn't doing well mentally. One of my jobs is to support him. <laughs> okay. Jin Furoe? Yes, of course I know about him. I actually follow him on Two Witter. Two Witter. He cuts through all the BS of the modern world. He's insightful. Inspiring in a way. Well. What? You still haven't taken DNA samples? Easier said than done. Most of the blood was drained from the body, so we have no choice but to take samples from the organs. Wait, hey, this is no place for a kid. What do you mean? I mean, you're right next to the body. Mm, Iris isn't doing too hot. So? So, well, you you could be traumatized for life seeing something like this. She's seen her mom and her father die horrifically. She's fine. I'm fine. I've seen worse. I anyway, you're in the way. <laughs> fine. Well, there you have it. So, in other words, you don't have anything. Hey, Moma. His name is Moma Kumakura. He's a leader of the Kumakura gang, which is under the Uchisaki family. I know. The Kumakuras are known for being peculiar, even among Yakuza. But Tuh. why is their leader at a live streamed quiz show? Because Iris is there, I bet you. Oh, you mean Chinpei? Chinpei? Chinpei Wagai. That's his name. 
I don't remember him ever having a name. He was one of our members until just recently. Was? Yeah, he went clean. Left the life completely. And where is he now? Who knows? The moment he saw the corpse, he flew out of the room, white as a sheet. He was just Thug A, or B, or something like that. He's probably puking into a toilet somewhere. So, suspect number one. Anyway, it's real fucked up. Even Agreed. people in my world wouldn't kill someone so gruesomely. That bastard. Scaring Tessa like this. Whoever did this better make sure the cops get to him before I do. Momo Kumakura. I know her name without asking. Iris Sagan. I was introduced before the show started, and... She was involved in the new Cyclops serial killings that happened last November. Oh, so it's within a year. You read the reports. Yeah, so I know enough about what happened. Mr. Date was also on that case. Tomaturbia. Oh, by the way, this case and the new Cyclops serial killings are not related. Though that is just a hunch. Does she look okay to you? Not really. I already talked to the other detective. I want to go home already. Teleportation. <laughs> what? That body teleported here from a parallel world. I don't know about parallel worlds, but you might be on to something with portals. But only half of his body was able to make it through. That's why he was split in half. <sighs> Jeez. How's your brain doing, girly? She's trembling. Mizuki Date, 12 years old. Her former name is Okiura, but she was adopted by my superior officer, Kaname Date. That's why I've met her a few times before. Why oh, do you have the wrong face, Date? Like the time you carried Date home on your back after he had one too many rounds. I don't know. Not his guardian, you know. He got all giddy about taking a long vacation. Oh, so he went on vacation then. He's probably at a cabaret club in Magua right now, pouring some ponzo on that rake of chick's fat thighs. <laughs> That's an image. What? Isn't it obvious? Iris is totally freaking out, so I'm helping her calm down. When are you letting me leave anyway? That other detective said you still had questions you needed to ask. So... Of course. Jin Furue, right? I've seen him online a bunch of times. Yeah, I wonder if this is in the same universe. Camera with the tripod. Big camera. I wonder if the camera's caught anything. Okay, that's how I do that. Long cable. Heavy door. What did that just pick up on? Step ladder? Kettle? Yeah, this is definitely after the true end. Monitor. Podium. Big monitor. Hello. I think he introduced himself to me before the show started. His name was... Andy's Kamechia. That's his stage name, of course. His real name is Yonaharu Enda. He's a comedian. I'd never heard of him before. Could be a mask. He must not be very good. I suppose you can do better, asshole! What do you know about comedians? Listen, comedians are all doing their best so they can bring people joy! And here you are, just... Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Wow. Known Tama for more than half a year now, and I still have a hard time understanding what sets her off. I had no idea that was a sensitive subject. Are you still out of it, Mr. Ryuki? 
Is that like a third eye or is that a mole? This is Studio Devaita in Minato Roppongi. It's a rental studio mostly used for live streaming, filming, that kind of thing. Did you really not understand what you were getting into when you agreed to this? I don't think any of us did. We arrived here right as the stream was about to begin. They made us sit in the contestant seat right away without telling us anything. Well, the title of our show is right there. Faith to Face, our special six-hour livestream marathon brought to you by Amabi TV. We cut the stream, of course, but the cameras should have been running when that body appeared. So we should be able to review the tapes then. Mavi TV is a live streaming internet service for PC and smartphone. The quiz show Faith to Face is one of the shows. It's a mi mildly popular show with everyday people as contestants. Tama is very moody. I'm sure all of Japan or even the world tuning in on the internet is in shock right now. Where's the staff? They're being questioned by the police in the waiting room. Mr. Ryuki, aren't you with the police too? Well, yes. Okay. This is a high level investigation uh, agency. They don't get along well with the regular officers and have a hard time getting them to share information. I told you it's Kagami! An inspector is checking something. The estimated time of death was about 40 hours ago. 40 hours, okay. Today is February 10th, current time 2200, which means he died around 6 o'clock February 9th. Yesterday morning. There's hardly any blood left in his body. His body must have been left with his legs slightly raised and the cut side facing the ground. Blood naturally flowed out as a result. Leaving the cut surprisingly clean and visible. The cut appears to have been made by something far thinner than paper. Thinner than paper? For example, something with zero thickness, like a 2D surface. There's no such... Interesting. What's more is that it doesn't seem like the connections between molecules were severed. The structure of the molecules themselves have been cut. What in the world happened yesterday at 6? So this is going to be a little hard to understand, so feel free to skip this if you'd like. Among scientific bonds, there is the intramolecular bond, which uses electrons to bond, and the intermolecular bond, which is bonding of mo molecules themselves. Intramolecular bonds are stronger than inter... Intra is stronger than intermolecular bonds, so when something is cut in half, it's usually the intermolecular bonds that is severed. However, Jin, uh, Jin's body was severed at a intramolecular level. That's it for the science part. Please continue to enjoy the main story. Okay. What happened yesterday at 6? The identity of the deceased has been confirmed through facial recognition. Jen Furaway, 29 years old, the CEO of Music Food Co. Ltd. He's also an executive at several IT firms, consultation companies, investment firms, and advertising agencies. His columns and essays are featured in various magazines and online media. He's quite a successful author. By the way, Ryuki, 
There's something about the corpse's head that's been bothering me. It's hard to see from here, so... Here's the image I took earlier. What's this? It's an enlarged picture of Jin's temporal region, near the back of his head. Looks like it was shot. It's hard to see because of the hair in the way, but there are signs of dramatic subcutaneous hematoma. That looks like a... like a bullet. In other words, there's bruising. I think he got hit with a blunt object. Someone hit him from behind? Probably. But I don't think this is a fatal wound. There's no damage to the skull or brain itself. And as you can clearly see, his cause of death was being split in half. There are no other visible wounds besides the head trauma. He must have been cut in two while he was alive. Ooh. Wait. What is it? This might not be related to the case, but I just thought of something. Ryuki, would you mind moving closer to the body? Yes, I mind very much. Hmm. He's missing one of his back teeth. Yes, the first molar of his upper jaw was completely removed from its root. Judging by the impression left in the gums, it looks like it was removed just recently. Weird. Ryuki, I've got a connection! The QR code link. It leads to a ViewCube page. ViewCube? You mean... Yes, the video streaming site. Uh, YouTube. Whose account does the channel belong to? No idea. It was registered using an alias. Okay. Open it. What? I'm sorry. Can you please open it? That's better. And I guess we're gonna watch that again. wrong, Ryuki? Uh, what? Um... That's distinctly Japanese, and I don't know what that says. mix of languages? Hey. Um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. There was something behind the body. Like some kind of box. I just noticed that. Kagami's over here. Team Zero Escape presents... whole bunch of nonsense. <laughs> oh no. I'm seeing 
characters that I hoped <laughs> I wouldn't see again. A certain Ota, specifically. And title screen. Title drop. I would not bet on that. Oh, it's Brahmin. And actually, it is time for us to end stream. The first hour was like tech issues, but uh, we got through to the end of stream. You are familiar with it? Um, yeah, I've been here a bunch of times. How do I get to the menu? Ryuki is supposed to be here? I'm certain of it. Okay, let's go in. Probably, yeah. Is he drunk? No, that was weird. We didn't end up taking a break because our tech issues was kind of our break. Alright, so uh that that was a thing. I'm definitely enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying the game so far, um, and I look forward to continuing it. We will be continuing more of it on uh, Saturday, so uh, next Saturday. So basically what's going to happen is Saturdays are going to be the mature stream days, and that's when we will be playing uh, AI Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. on. Tuesdays and Thursdays, those are still going to be family friendly for those of you who have kiddos that like to watch my stream. Um, those days will still be uh, mature, or sorry, well, I guess I can't say immature, but they will be family friendly. Um, you can always tell what maturity rating my stream will be based on the uh, stream title and also I will have a little icon in the bottom left hand side of my uh, stream where you can uh, check the ESRB rating. It'll have either E for Everyone or Teen or on Saturdays it will be mature. Um, that's pretty much all for me. I think on Tuesday we'll probably be returning to Never Alone and Heaven's Vault um, and similar kind of idea for Thursday. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed stream. Sorry for the tech issues. I'm glad we managed to get it figured out. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and when you get to it, my lovelies, have a wonderful day. And stick around after the credits to join the raid to the next streamer. I have someone for you to raid. Thank you!